Have you ever gotten in trouble for something you didn't do? If you're black, brown, and chocolate, the answer is yes. Now, before I continue, I just want to say parental discretion is advised. So, if you're not with negative words or etc., this video is not for you. Now, as you know, African Americans have been treated like shit since 1789. Fast and embarrassed since 1872. Unjustified for over 200 years. Don't you just hate generational hatred? I've done some research and realized that since slavery till now, every main history market started off on a regular as a day. Who had slaves planning to escape? The other side, it was house slaves. Black Panthers were revolutionaries for self-defense. That other side, you had non-violent protesters. Today, there are ignorant niggas that just want to say, fuck the popo. So no effort to change. On the other side, you have niggas. Yeah, I said it, N-E-G-U-S. Definition, king, ruler, black emperor. These niggas fight and protest using knowledge and getting their ass up to vote. Ignorant niggas cause unnecessary problems. Let me explain. Getting on my senior year, there was this rivalry football game that my school wins every year until this one. The game was horrible. So me and my friends just decided to dip and go to this party. I remind you, it's five of us niggas in the car. Who are these niggas is fat? So basically eight of us rolling deep. I was between 9 and 10 at night. Everybody's upset that we lost this shit. Yeah, I'm mad because I'm squished in this little ass car. Lost a four year streak and the party we was trying to dip to was canceled. And not possibly get worse than this shit. As soon as we left the parking lot, we drove behind the bleachers. And one of my fat friends decides to hang his big ass out the window and express his feelings. Fuck y'all. You ain't shit. Y'all got lucky. Pussy ass niggas. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Nigga. I tried to calm him down. Bro, chill, the fans behind us. Word, all right. Fuck the police, y'all ain't shit. So clearly he must want some attention and we got pulled over. Hold up, it gets worse. Not only did we get stopped, but we got stopped by a bike cop. A fucking bike cop. Or like, pull over. Oh, is this a joke? My nigga, how does anything ever escalate this quick. I'm like, yo, we can low-key out drive this nigga and hope not to get caught or go to jail, but that would be bad. The driver pulls over, we get out, the one that's black gets searched. Funny thing is, one of our white friends was the only nigga that had a legal substance. You no, know, I now see why saying fuck the police isn't as ignorant to say. So while we were being searched, the cop calls back up. So this cop decides to ask the driver, hey, if there's anything illegal on these guys, you can trust to tell us. Oh, I don't think they do. I mean, if they did, I would know. Excuse me? If they did, I wouldn't know. It's just no, man. It's just no. They run a license and give us a ticket. So while we were in the car, the bike cop tried to talk to my hot-headed fat friend. Hey, you know you are not going to get far in life with that attitude. Oh, okay, I don't care. Wait, you don't care? Uh, bitch, you better care before these niggas have our asses locked up over some stupid shit or killed by accident. Like old dude said in Menace to Society, being a black man in America isn't easy. The hunt is on. Guess who's the fucking prey? Lesson of the day, do not act a fool in these streets because somewhere, someone is waiting for a quote unquote, the monkey to slip on his own fucking banana peel. Don't you hate generational hatred? Where you and I was walking Now I run the game Got the whole world talking King culture Everybody wanna cut the legs off King culture Black man taking no loss oh, yeah. Bitch where you and I was walking Now I run the game Got the whole world talking King culture Everybody wanna cut the legs off King When you got the yams What's the yams? The yams brought it out of Richard Pryor Pryor, 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 Pryor. When the